Welcome back to the PA Live. Hollywood's biggest night is now in the rear view, but we can't move on from award season without one last red carpet recap. Last night, the 96th Academy Awards took place at the Dolby Theater. Oppenheimer and Poor Things were the big winners of the night, but mm -hmm. as far as Rachel's concerned, the true winners are the ones whose Oscars fashion got the internet a buzz. You know me so well, Chris. Let's dive right on in. This might be my favorite of the entire night, Carrie Mulligan. She was nominated for her leading role in Maestro opposite Bradley Cooper. This is a Balenciaga gown originally from 1951, which was the year that her character, Felicia, married um, the Maestro, Bernstein. So Isn't that, that dress cool? is from 1951. Yeah, I think redesigned a bit, zhuzhed up for the modern times, but I think she looks stunningly beautiful, gorgeous. The hair and makeup is perfect, as it always is with Carrie Mulligan. She's such a classic beauty, and I think because her character was such a classy lady, she's kind of dressing in homage to that woman as well as kind of putting her best foot forward. I just wanted her to win because she looked so good. <laughs> That's <laughs> a very a Oscars look. Yes, perfect, exactly. She saved the best for last. She's been killing it all award season. This is my favorite of the whole lot. Next up, very strong, Gabrielle Union. Did you see this one? Very sparkly, very fun. She was, of course, attending in support of her husband, Dwayne Wade, who produced The Barber of Little Rock, which was up for Best Documentary Short. This is actually two different pieces, both Carolina Herrera. The mini dress is its own thing. The skirt is its own thing, and she kind of put them together to create this gown effect for the Oscars. So creative, I think it really shows her vision. She knows how to work a carpet too. Isn't she stunning? It's like you're not even like concerned about her a superstar of a husband. Totally. Dwayne who? <laughs> she is here. <laughs> Tiffany Jewels as well, just to make it extra special. Okay, this one I have a lot to say about and I want to know what you think. Margot Robbie in Versace not what I was expecting. What do you think? Well, because everything up until this point was a Barbie look. Right. And this and, is not. But that Barbie book came out, so she's probably like, well, you know what? <laughs> The That's book's true. out. The book's out. Either that or do you think it's a bit of a like, hmm, well, Academy, if you didn't nominate me, I'm not going to give you one last Barbie look. I think it might be that. Or perhaps she was just wanting to let her co-star America Ferreira shine and have that big pink Barbie moment. Did you see America? Look at the side by side. Both Versace, both that classic chain mail look that we love. Margo in the brown, America in the bright pink. How stunning is that? I mean, America I do like really America shines. Ferreira. And she was up for her supporting role in Barbie. Didn't go home with the Oscar, but I think really looked the part. And I'm almost like glad that Margo let America have this moment. To see this side by side, it's clear who's having the moment, but like she was nominated. So I think it was kind of America's turn. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, good for them. I think they, they talked about it. I think this was thought out and it speaks to women supporting women, Women's History Month and the whole Barbie message. So I really like this. Next up, I think we have Zendaya. Let's see Zendaya. Oh, she's so good. She was presenting, so no awards on the line for her. This is Giorgio Armani Privé. She looks she, like a toothpick. She really does. She <laughs> just stunning. She wears clothes so beautifully. It's probably, she's a designer's dream. They say that all the time. I think every look out does the last. Of course, she's been doing a lot of press for Doom too, and all of those looks have been wild. So it's nice to see her again, kind of, I don't know. She's just so beautiful. Love Do you them. think they practice like standing? I absolutely. I think it's something that your stylist will go over with you because I, how do you, she doesn't take a bad picture. That's not an accident, right? I think it helps the way that they she's smile, gorgeous. you know. Oh, could you just stare at her forever? I'm like mesmerized. Who, who is she dating? Tom Holland. That's right. Spider-Man. Spider yeah. Spider-Man. Okay, next up, another presenter, Ariana Grande. Ari, she's channeling her upcoming role of Glinda in I Wicked. I watched her on SNL the night before. Jean Baptiste Valli. Was she good? I didn't she watch She was, yeah. She's a talent. She is a talent. A lot of people are looking forward to Wicked. Of course, she just released Eternal Sunshine and the slightly deluxe version of Eternal Sunshine over the weekend. I like that she, she needed to give us pink. Cynthia Erivo gave us the green. So she did what she needed to do. I don't love it. She's but just so tiny. She's so little. Now, so probably cute. the internet was saying it looks like a comforter. Yeah, totally. Or, or someone, a said the, bag. someone said the bullworm from uh, SpongeBob. Remember that episode? <laughs> That reminded me of that too. Anyway, it's fine, but it was noteworthy, so we had to include it in the roundup. Issa Rae, another beauty, another favorite of mine. She's Hollywood's good luck charm. That was kind of the talk of the town on the carpet last night because she was there for three nominated films, Barbie, American wow. Fiction, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. She's got like the golden touch in Hollywood and she was wearing the super deep green. It almost looks black, but it is green. You could see kind of the velvet on the skirt there. Really beautiful. 
Ami Paris is the designer there, but she always looks good. And last but not least, Emma Stone. She's a now two-time Oscar winner. She went home with the prize last night for Poor Things for her role as Bella Baxter. This is Louis Vuitton. I think it's Now, do fine. you like that? I really don't. Like, I, the problem, I'll tell you exactly my problem with it. I think it's ill-fitting in the bottom. It almost looks like frumpy. It needed to be like an inch or two shorter and maybe tighter. Maybe then she couldn't walk in it. I mean, her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. She is beautiful. But I, she's done so many pretty, like, sparkly, simple, gorgeous looks that this one almost was, like, too much. I think it took away from the moment that she had. The pe I don't like a peplum, I'm over it. Now, personally. like what you're saying, it all sounds right and makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can't imagine there's not people around these stars. But I wonder, too, if there's like pressure to keep outdoing yourself, right? Like if you're on the award season, if you're Emma Stone, you've gone to every single award show and you're wearing the same kind of a look, you yeah. want the Oscars dress to stand out a little bit, especially if you have that big Oscar moment at the end of the night, which she did, you know? She won one of the biggest awards of the night. And now that dress goes down in history. Uh, th those pictures are going to be everywhere. We're always going to remember She could wear so. that top portion, I feel, just yeah. by itself. Yeah, that'd be cute. Maybe cuter. Anyway, that's my red carpet <laughs> recap. It's always fun to watch. Sad to see award season come to a close, but nice to recap it with you all. Stick with us. We'll wrap up this show right after the break.